So out come the Falcons now. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and ten. They'll run on first down. It's Stanley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. On first and 10, Rich. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now a handoff up the middle. Stanley, it's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Back to throw. Rich, and that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. That's just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will tie our game here in the third. Square here in this third quarter as the kicks away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Good position to be in here, second and inches. Off the bootleg, Donnelly. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, Rich. And finding the tight end, Wilson. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw, Rich. He finds his man, complete. That's Stanley. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. On first down, Rich. Eluding the pressure right. Over the middle complete. It's Jacobs. 
And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Looking to throw on second down. Rich. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. On third down, Rich. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. And out come the Dolphins now. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And now a carry here for their fullback. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the ten-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I heard all the stories. I watched some of the tape of the old school guys, the throwback guys who were the punishing runners and knocked people aside to pick up yardage. I'm so glad I was sitting here today and got to see it with my own eyes. On third down, Greenwood. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and it will be Falcon football. Atlanta now coming out on the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich. Throw left side, complete. That's Jacobs. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Up the middle they go. It's Stanley. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Rich. And this is going to be intercepted. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Go, 
Throwing to start the drive. Donnelly. Crowder's got it over the middle. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Throwing on first down. Donnelly. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Looking to throw. Donnelly. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Now a give right side. Greenwood, and he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The offense on third down tonight, they're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and 19. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Let's go now. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. To throw on second down. Rich. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. On first and 10, Rich firing quickly here, and that's complete. Looking to throw on second down. Rich caught. It's Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Operating from the gun, Rich. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Stanley. On first down, Rich. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. First down, it's Stanley. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Operating from the gun. Rich, complete to Newsom. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. To throw on second down, Rich. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jacobs. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, Rich dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And they're looking at fourth down now in this tie ball game. And his kick here is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one, to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. So the Dolphins now down on the scoreboard. A minute 52 to play. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and ten. He's back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. They'll look to throw. Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Greenwood. 
And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now they got to get to the line quickly. He'll look to throw. Well, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Falcons have just about sewn up this football game. Just when you thought this game might be turned on its ear, a late interception pretty much going to seal the deal. Yeah, boy, talk about having your backs to the wall. This defense, they look like they were in danger surrendering this lead, but they knew they needed that one play. And they got it right there, partner. The Falcons ready to take over. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be unable to get upfield as they take him down at the 21-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And they will take a knee here. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And just how they envision the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. Well, partner, the season officially underway. It was great to be back with you, obviously, but the first game of the year, always a special one. And love, I know you do too, love having it on a Thursday night. Yeah, I think it makes it special, right? It makes it so that everyone is just watching, all eyes on it on a special night like that. I think it's going to be a great season, partner. Can't wait for the next several months. We know there are going to be surprises all the way through the season. And before we know it, we'll be talking about opening up on a Thursday night again next season. So for Atlanta, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.